In this chapter, we are going to learn about data extension. Consider data extension as an object or a table where as a marketer, you're going to store data. You can store data either in a list or you can store in data extension. Data extension is more powerful because it allows that data to be used in journeys. It allows that to be used in mobile push and other mediums too. In our example, we are going to import data from an external system. Consider that data to be in a CSV format where we have fields like external ID, first name, last name, email, product port. As a marketer, your job is to import this data and based on the product that has been bought by the subscriber, specific emails has to be sent it to them. To do that, we will now jump onto marketing cloud for a subscriber data extension going to create a data extension let's name it as product bot we'll say this data extension is sendable we are going to use the data and data extension to send the emails out to subscriber if you want to retain the data then you can have the retention policy say next over here I'll specify the fields which will be there in the data extension which is similar to the fields which are there on the input file for email address I will change the data type to email and the last one is product part make it text now the data that we're ex importing into data extension has to be mapped to the subscribers to do that we will do a mapping where we'll say external id refers to the subscriber key i make external id as primary key say create effectively what we have done we have created a data extension now but we have not loaded the data to load the data into this particular data extension We'll say import. We will import it from our hard drive. I'll say browse. Let me save this. I'll save it as a CSV file. I'll go back to Marketing Cloud, say Browse. Let that file be imported. May take some time for file to get imported. Let's wait for that. Then, once the file has been imported, we can map. So if I have to map in fact i can go ahead and map it i have external id first name and email address or i can map it manually say next and then i can import the data into my data extension just to reiterate we have learned how to create a data extension, import a list. Now, once the data has been imported, we can also export it and then we can delete it. To delete a data extension, I just have to go and select it and click on delete. Now, the question comes, when to use data extension versus a list? List has to be used when you have less than 500,000 subscribers. You prefer simplicity over performance and you are only using XML APIs. Data extension have to be used 
if you want to send more messages to more than 500,000 subscribers, you want to implement trigger send. That means any operation that happens in third party, it is going to trigger an email from Marketing Cloud. That time you would require a data extension. You want to use the same data extension for sending messages on mobile, on using journeys, or on Advertising Studio, you have to use data extension. Or you want to send data using SOAP or REST APIs. Thank you.